for the last time we talked much about organic chemistry as an introduction but before we go in detail about uh, organic chemistry we have to talk about the common terms used in, in organic chemistry maneno ambayo huwa yanatumika sana kwenye organic chemistry tutayadiscuss ambayo yako mengi zaidi lakini nimejaribu kuchagua baadhi ambao ni muhimu zaidi so we call them the common terms used in organic chemistry one we have the molecular formula the molecular formula of a compound is a chemical formula indicating the type indicating the type and the numbers of an atom in the molecule means how many atoms are there and what kind of the atom are you dealing with example you have this one you have c and this one means here this molecule is made up of carbon that is the type and it is made up of hydrogen that is the hydrogen that is also type but how many hydrogens are there we have three we have 80 hydrogens how many carbons are there we have three carbons therefore type and number of elements number of atoms it is the chemical formula indicating the type and numbers of atoms in a molecule means how many carbons are there and how many hydrogens are there what first of all it is made up of carbon and hydrogens how many carbons are there we have three of them how many hydrogens are there we have eight of them so to indicate the type and the number so we mean of the type and the number how many the type and the number the type and the number we are just talking about the molecular formula now the molecular formula for compound is a chemical formula indicating the type and number also of hydrogen example if now this is it, this is it, 10 means we have four carbon and we have eight hydrogens for instance we have this one this is eight now we have four carbon and eight hydrogens now this molecule is made up of carbon and hydrogen but how many are they we have four carbon and we have eight hydrogen and this is made up of carbon and hydrogen the same same thing we may have c4 then h then c for then h double this one maybe this one this is made up of carbon and it is made up of hydrogen and it is made up of oxygen or in short it can be written let's say this is t then this is o double o so this is made up of two oxygen and it is made up of two hydrogen and it is made up of two uh, four carbon so what are the constant of this molecule is all about carbon hydrogen and oxygen now how many carbons are there we have four how many hydrogens are there we have two how many oxygens we have two now mo molecular formula indicating the type of the atoms and the number of the atoms which are available in the molecules but the other things we have we call it a structural formula structural formula shows how the atoms are arranged in a molecule example we have seen this one the structure the, the structural formula shows how the atoms are arranged how atoms are arranged arranged example we have seen we have said that we have c3 and h8 we want to know the arrangement of these atoms in a molecule. That is the structural formula. So the structural formula is the expanded molecular formula. Ni muundo wa hii element ndo tunasema structural formula. How these atoms have been arranged in the molecule. This is how we say the structural formula is the expanded molecular formula to show the arrangement of the atom 
This arrangement of the atom, we may show the atoms only, or, or we may show the atoms and their bonds. And that's why I've said the structural formula of a compound can be written by showing the arrangement of the atoms only, that is the condensed or closed structural formula, or by showing the arrangement of the atoms together with their bonds. That is a structural formula. For instance, this is a molecular formula. But if I want to show the structural formula for this one, then I have CH3, then CH2, then CH3. Means what? This is a tetravalent, I mean the tetravalent element. And this is the tetravalent element. And this is the tetravalent element. Means this is a closed structural formula. It shows only the arrangement of the atoms with not their bonds. But once you show them with their bonds, carbon, this is carbon, this is carbon. If now you refer to the introduction of the organic chemistry, I showed how we can catenate carbon. Therefore, this is bond and this is a bond. But because this is the tetravalent element, here we are supposed to show with four valence. Here we are supposed to show it with the four valence. Here we are supposed to show it with the four valence. And therefore, here it is attached with three hydrogen. Here it is attached with three hydrogen, two hydrogen. Why is it so? Because we want to form the tetravalent element to complete it with tetravalent tetravalent properties. Now this is the hydrogen, this is the hydrogen, this is the hydrogen. Now this is a, an open structure, but this is a condensed structure because it shows only the arrangement of the atom, but this shows the arrangement of the atom together with it, with it is bonds. Why have I written this one? Because this is a tetravalent element. It must, it must be revolved by four bonds. And this is a tetravalent element. It must be revolved by four bonds. And this must be revolved by four bonds. Now, in writing this way, you are showing the bonds, and here you are not showing the bonds. This is called the closed structural formula, and this is called open structural formula. Why is it open structural formula? Because it shows all the arrangement of the atoms and their bonds. As you may see, carbon must be revolved by four bonds, because this has got four balance. We say valence is equal now to bonds. If now it has got four valences, means that it has got also four bonds. If now it got four valence, four bonds. Four valence, four bonds. And that is why hydrogen is part as a valence element because it has got only one valence. So it, it indicates the valence, it represents the valence of an atom. And that is why we have shown an arrangement of that one. Another example, we may have Example, you have C4, then we have H10. That is an alkyl. This is a molecular formula. It only shows how many atoms are there and what kind of the atoms are you dealing with. We are dealing with four carbon and ten hydrogen. That is molecular formula. To write it is structural formula, you have four. So you have to write one, two, three, four. Then, because here it is it is, it is at the ends, so it must be attacked with three. But this must be attacked by two, and this is by two, then this is by three. Therefore, if now you count them, you find we have three, five, seven, ten. We have one, two, three, four. This is now, we call it a structural molecular formula, and this is a structural formula. But this is a condensed one. Why is it a condensed one? Because it shows only the alignment of the atoms only with no bonds. But once you write it in an open structure, you write this is C, then C, then C, then C. That is to say, this is a bond that is joining because they, may, they must catenate, carbon catenates. And we said it is why it is a unique element. Because the Tengeleza chain then if it could complete us, so as to complete Kwamba, this is the must be attached, this must be attached to the four bonds. So we have two of them, then we have left two. Then here we have two of them, we have left two. 
Then here we have one only. We have left with three of them. Three of them. Then here we have left with three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Now, this is how we can write this is H here, hydrogen, here, hydrogen, here, hydrogen, and here it is hydrogen, here it is hydrogen, here it is hydrogen, here it is hydrogen, it is hydrogen, it is hydrogen. Now, the structure formula that shows the, the arrangement of the atom together with their bonds, we call it open structure formula. But the one that shows only the arrangement of the atoms, we call it condensed structure formula. For structure formula, ni kuonesha namna gani hizi carbon na hydrogen zimepangiliwa kwenye molecules. Zikiwa zikionesha kwa hatu wakao zimejipanga hivi, maana ake hii inaifa open na ni closed. Lakini ukikuta zimeonesha paka bonds. Kama unaonesha paka bond, kweta open structure formula. Na sheria ya carbon ni kwamba huyu carbon anakuwa na valence nne. Kwa lazima ashikwe na bond nne kwa sababu valence moja inawakilisha backbond moja. Hapa ameshikwa na mbili tayari, tunahitaji mbili zingine hizi pekee nne. Hapa ameshikwa na mbili tayari, tuna yani bond zinazozunguka hapo lazima ziwe nne. Bond zinazozunguka hapo lazima ziwe nne. Kwa kama ameshikwa na mbili, basi anatakiwa ashikwe na zingine mbili. Kwa mfano, example you have this one. This is C this one. This is an ili carboxylic. Ukiangalia hapa, oxygen ni, 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 ni divalent elements. Kaya, lazima ishikwe na valence mbili. Na ikisha ishikwe na valence mbili hapa, manake hapa automatic ukaweka moja, hawezu kaongeza tena nyingine hapa. Ukiongeza hapa bond, ukiesabu 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is no longer carbon. Now, you must obey the principle that uh, this carbon is a tetravalent element. Once you have written this two here, means this is a divalent element. And that is why here, it also a divalent element. It must be revolved by two valences, by two bonds, so as to complete this principle that this is a divalent element. It shows the divalent element because this we have now two bonds. Now, this oxygen is a divalent element because we have not written anything here, we have to show it by double bonds to indicate that uh, this is a divalent. Kwa tumonesha mbili hapa kwa sababu huyo na valence mbili. Tumonesha mbili hapa kwa sababu huyo na valence mbili. Kwa tunavua andika open structure, lazima tufanya consideration. Lakini kama ningeandika condensed structure ya hii hapa, ningeandika tu hii hapa, halafu carbon, halafu ningeandika oxygen mbili, itamalizia na hydrogen. This is the condensed structure formula. It does not show any it does not show a bond. Even if you would have written in this way, this is the ala, then you see this one, H. This is a condensed or closed structure because it only shows the arrangement of the atoms with no bonds. But this is an open structure, because, structural formula because it shows the bonds and the arrangement of the atoms. So there is a structural formula. The structural formula may be open or may be condensed. It depends on the arrangement of the atoms and their bonds in the way that we may show. So this is a two common, I mean two common fact, I mean two common terms that have shown. Let us see the other common fact, common terms.